we are back. Um, starting this video off, you know, um, got a beautiful MB Miata there. Color match, hard top, everything. Um, you guys liked that last video, so I'm gonna go ahead and post another one. Um, I did edit the the um, the camera view a little bit better. I adjusted it. Um, hopefully, you guys, or hopefully, it looks better. Um, <clears throat> pop it up right here. Get, I tried doing a one-hander here one time and I almost ate it, man. Just because it's kind of an uphill, I don't know how well it picks it up on camera, but... You could ride this out all the way. A little coaster. What's up, brother? It's actually up in those mountains up there, so uh, let's see. Pretty busy area, so it's not too bad. You kind of cut up, up into these backyards. I mean, what does this say? Private property, no trespassing. Okay, I don't think we're really trespassing. What if I live here? So yeah, usually when it rains, you know, it kind of floods up in there. That's kind of what that is. That's why these rocks are there. All the water comes up from up there, it comes down. But, you know, it's not too bad of a rain. Hopefully we don't get in trouble going through here, but um, usually, well, not usually, but there was a fire here maybe five, six, seven years ago up in these hills, man. Everybody here had to evacuate. I actually snapped a couple of pictures and um, uh, pictures of uh, like cars, you know, with a bunch of um, that red shit, whatever they drop. I don't know. Look, nice Evo, wide body. That's sick. Oh, dog's barking. Oh, look, side by side. That's badass. Well, I'm trying to take you guys to this little, this little road back here. Um, let's see. And again, man, you guys know how I love snakes. Hopefully we don't get none of that here. Oh, this is probably more snake territory than anything because maybe I should put my boots on I don't remember this oh, I don't remember any of this am I even going the right way Sorry, I don't really know this route. And it's pretty tight, a bunch of big rocks. But it kind of takes you up into the open area up there. More than 100% positive that we'll run into another snake. I don't know what that was. Nice little dip. I don't know what this trail is for. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, this is what I'm talking about. Really tight spaces. Oh, wow, it looks like somebody's been mowing these down. Oh, it's so nice to have these dirt tires. Freaking grip up so nice. I don't know if this is like a downhill path. I wonder if it's like a mountain bike path. Ow. Hopefully not, you know. 
Somebody's coming downhill, ran right into me, or ran into them. Poop. I wonder where that's from. I'm gonna go right. Oh, this is pretty cool. I don't remember any of this, man. Like I said, it's been quite some time. But I think we're on the right path. We're on the right path, boys. Oh, man, and today I'm actually wearing a long sleeve unlike the other day. I'm getting whacked by all these leaves. <laughs> hey, we made it. See, this is what I remember. Could have sworn it was a lot quicker than that, but... Lead smoke. Mary Jane. Nice boot right there. And a skull. Really nice. I wonder if anybody lives back here. Hope not. Oh man, these are overgrown. Oh wow. Oh, okay. So a shovel. I don't remember it. Oh wow. Some heavy equipment over there. I don't remember any of this. Oh shit, oh shit. Let's go this way. I don't feel like going uphill anymore. Let's go check out the heavy equipment, brother. Oh, 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 oh shit, damn. Another heavy drop. Man, I really hope I'm going the right way. Maybe we should have gone the other way. <laughs> ah. I don't know if you guys are familiar with like Wizzle and Diesel and stuff, but man, I enjoy that guy's content. Holy shit. He's got a dozer that he was making and. Come on, rabbit. And that shit was pretty nice, man. I can imagine having one of these just to sit around and fuck around. You know, that'd be pretty badass. I think it looks bulletproof. It's sick though. You can do some damage with that. A little, a little DD. Well, that was a little ride. Let's see if we can exit through here. I don't want to go back that way. Let's see. And nope. It's got like 10 locks on it, man. You guys really didn't have a long enough chain. Yeah, I really didn't have a long enough chain to lock that. This looks like it's doable, but I don't want to go through there. Because we'll just go back the same way we came. Probably just cut this way. I'll just shred a little bit through here. I'm not trying to be on that damn show, what's it called? Oh damn, we're on top. Well, is this the right way of going? Ooh, definitely not. Um, I need help. Let's try going this way. Okay, that's better. But yeah, man, those shows are kind of crazy. <laughs> Can I drop off through here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. 
Big reds, big reds. This is a pretty cool area to come and ride. Real chill. Very wildlife like. Oh, right underneath it. Uh, which way did we come from? This way. Oh, more poop. A little bit of rock crawling here. Path being this this tight. Uh, but anyways, on the brighter side, I don't know if I mentioned this. Ooh, I don't know if I mentioned this on the other video, but um, yeah, I got a race coming up this this Friday. First time actually going to the track. Like, like I saw one of the videos. I mean, like I showed in the videos. I was kind of just practicing right there. That's usually where I go practice on that little 50 track. Um, but this is like a, I don't know, I think it's like an 85 track. For 85s, but they're letting Surons 50s and 110s on there. So, should be fun. Uh, it's like a one full Suron race, one full 50 race, and one full 110 race, and then 110 modded race. So, should be interesting. Um, I'll probably go ahead and post it, you know. I know there's a few Surons on there. There's one guy that I know, he, I mean, he's got a pretty built bike. I mean, I'm not that good at racing. That guy looks like a beast. I can't whip. He can whip. And, like, I don't know. That guy looks like he's, he's raced before, so. Should be fun. See a lot of people go there. Should be at least 10 Surons going, so. Should be fun. But that's why I've been riding this whole week a little bit. I try to ride every day. Try to get comfortable again on the bike. It's been a minute. If I lose, I lose. It's just a fun race, you know. Get people to come out to the track. It's cool that, you know, um, a few of these racetracks actually open up to e-bikes. <coughs> um, I mean, I live in SoCal, you know. Uh, I know Paula's doing, like, races as well, but that's a little bit far away. I stay closer. Oh wow, some jumps right there. Too steep. Maybe we could hit this one. Maybe this one too. Don't come barking at me, boy. But yeah, I know Paula always has big events. You know, a bunch of kids go out there. Oh, a bunch of people. They have like dirt jump events and it makes it interesting. I'm just in it to, for, for the fun of it, you know? Oh man, hands are hurting. Guys has got a bobcat back there. But I try to adjust in the camera a little bit more because I, I, I realized that in the video I kind of keep my head down a lot. So hopefully with it being a little bit more up, you know. You guys could see kind of where I'm actually riding and maybe we should try to sneak under there, huh? Maybe not. It's about the same size as the bike. I ain't trying to get stuck. Oh well. Like I said, I'll try to make these videos shorter, so I think I'll probably end it here and uh nice little trail ride. Seems a little bit boring, but If you guys like it, shit. By all means, I'll keep recording. We'll just keep recording.